hello i know i haven't been here in a while i'm so sorry i was on vacation new hair color just went a little lighter did a little brown moment so today i did an in-depth makeup tutorial using a celebrity makeup artist techniques we also used makeup by ariel's brushes and we kind of use the techniques throughout the video so if you guys want to elevate your makeup this is the video for you if you want to look like a doll if you want to look literally perfect for camera and event whatever it is keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and i will be leaving all my social medias link down below and yeah um so disclaimer my face is like a little red and stuff like that i got a facial that was a little bit too intense for my skin so kind of reacted so i'm kind of recovering a little bit so do not mind that i'm gonna be using a techniques that i saw on a makeup by ariel's a tutorial well a combination of the tutorials that he's kind of done with other like influencers and just picked up some techniques that maybe you can incorporate into your makeup so i feel like i was just like the foundation concealer like that type of vibe like what we all kind of do the steps um but the, there's like little things that i picked up that i was like wow game changer and can really make your makeup look flawless so if you really want to step up your game or if you have an event coming up and you just want to like execute the makeup okay so the first thing that a lot of the makeup artists start with is brows but before we get into brows we're gonna go ahead and make sure our face is nice and hydrated i already have moisturizer on so basically he says that like the key is to have very hydrating and nice base to your makeup so when your uh, skin looks good your foundation and your makeup ends up looking very good i, I love the glow recipe because I don't know i just feel like it's been looking really good on my skin and i've been kind of seeing everyone use it as well so i just got this tarte brush and how cool is it super soft bristles and i just love the kind of like shape <laughs> your girl got the makeup by ario brush set for this video literally because i was like okay listen he knows what he's doing i'm sure he knows what he's doing with the brushes and let me tell you amazing brushes we're going to be using them in this video just so you guys can see it's worth the hype i used to be the type to be like fuck no i'm not investing in brushes like what is the point but i trusted him and they're super worth it okay anyway so we're gonna go into the brows i'm gonna be using precisely my brow from benefit in the color 3.5 i did dye my hair like a light brown so i am going to be using a lighter pencil now even if even if you have black hair, that does not mean that your eyebrows have to be black, okay? I personally, if, if you want my opinion, because obviously some girls do like it, it softens your look. The black hair is already really intense, but I noticed that I used to use this like super dark pomade and it just does not, it was just not the vibe. So ever since I started using a really light pencil, I feel like it changed the game like completely. It softened the look and it just looks a little bit more. It just looks nice. I don't know how to, I don't even know what word to use, but it doesn't look that harsh and it doesn't look like you have like a block of a brow. And that's the last thing you want. And like, see what's like such little product using a color 3.7 like that is very different from like a um, six or something like that from Precisely My Brow that is way darker. And like, do you see how you don't even need that much? I also seen a video of his uh, explaining like what products he used on like him and stuff. And she actually uses a 3.75 i believe in the brow so you know even when she has dark hair color she still sticks to a very light pencil so second product of the tutorial i have the rcma rcma concealer palette that he actually uses on the video that he did his makeup on nikita dragon and i also think he used it um 
don't know if he used it on Patrick Star, but so I've seen it and I was like, it looks very convenient. So if you're a makeup artist or if you're starting out, this is definitely a palette for you just because it has a different type of lighter shades of concealer that could carve out brows and it's just such a convenient little case. All right, guys, so first brush we're using from the Makeup by Ariel collection. So this one is the smaller, that little tiny like concealer brush that comes in the kit. So he used this one to carve out the brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these two colors, these two first colors of the concealers and kind of just mix them up and then go in and kind of clean up the, the situation right here that we have going on. Um, it's very important that you don't carve your eyebrows with such a light color. I would say stick to like one shade lighter than your foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and set these lids with this transformation powder from Dragon Beauty. So we're just going to set this so our eye does not crease. And then we're going to go in with the shadow. So I'm going to use this super fluffy brush. And I'm going to start out with a couple of transition colors. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the naked Urban Decay wild west palette in the color nude look at this color right here it's like a really nice transition shade so i'm going to go ahead and use this color pot palette it's called not box of chocolates and it's super cute they have a bunch of nude colors so i'm going to go ahead and use this color called and this is where you can go ahead and go in with something like this to kind of just make your life easier really it's a great guide and then we're gonna go in with the color amaretto which is a darker brown color So we're going to go ahead and use a nice color in the inner corner. So I'm going to go ahead and use that same Urban Decay palette and use the color Stand Off. And it's just a very light, creamy shadow. So this is kind of like what we have for now. Do not worry about this right here. We're going to go ahead and clean that up but this is kind of like what we're going for very like soft catty vibe so we're gonna go ahead and do eyeliner and i've been using this benefit they're real extreme precisely okay this is a long ass name but anyways when i went to ulta i was like dude i need the best eyeliner in this motherfucking store and the reason why is because they want to be hella loud the reason why is because I do a lot, I do eyeliner and I've been doing eyeliner since I was damn near 15 and I have gone through quite a, a bunch of eyeliners like from expensive ass eyeliners to the cheapest and I'm always looking for the new thing, the new shebang and this one is perfect. It is super good, it's super black and I love the brush, The it's like a little felt, it's not even a felt tip, it's actually like an actual brush which i 100 percent appreciate because it just gives you that very precise liner so we're going to kind of go ahead and follow this um brown situation and do a nice little wing So I already went in and popped on some lashes. So we're going to go ahead and go into... 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use two foundations, and the only reason why I'm why I'm using two foundations is because this one is a little bit lighter than my body, and so I'm just kind of like going to I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more color with this one. So this one's the House of Labs foundation pretty viral last year a lot of people enjoyed this foundation and i know everybody's kind of like raving on the mario one and i went to go get it and they did not have my freaking shade so i was like well f this so house of labs um very hydrating foundation very similar to like the makeup forever reboot using this two-sided brush from the collab i'm gonna go ahead and go around my eyebrows just because i don't want to smear it the, the brushes are not super synthetic -y feeling it almost seems like a brush for powder but surprisingly they're amazing for both cream and powder so i was very very impressed by that All right, guys so i'm gonna go ahead and use this hourglass foundation in the color beige little lines everywhere uh weirdly i like this foundation for when i'm tan i like the coverage of it and i love how easy it is usually when i'm tanning i'm either on vacation or on the go so it's really good to just add some color i don't like go in and buy like a whole liquid foundation for it i feel like the stick just kind of adds to my other foundations when i am tanning so as you can see this brush blends everything so seamless like i literally want to buy like three sets of these just in case they never sell them again because i'm like w w where the fuck you know okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use this my beauty blender and kind of just stipple that in kind of gives rid of a little bit of the excess foundation on your face to give it more of like a flawless finish so I'm going to go ahead and use this Patrick Ta. It's basically a two-in-one little palette. So it's the Cream Contour Duo. And dude, let me tell you about this color. So this is the color she sculpted. And I truly, truly hate either very ashy contours or very orangey contours. And it's super hard to find that medium type of color. And he did that with this super super dope actually just grabbed this and i just love it i love it i love it i love it and you guys are going to see in a little bit we're gonna go ahead and i love how you can just kind of tap it right here easy easy application i've been into this whole easy application vibe <laughs> and just grab enough on the brush and you guys are gonna see how amazing this color is it literally looks like skin like the color is perfect it's not too ashy and it's also not too orangey it's crazy how well these brushes work with cream i'm honestly just so shook ho look at how hollowed my cheeks look but it almost looks like natural but it's just this shade is dope as fuck just dope as fuck go ahead and use this little flat brush i'm telling you guys i've been using the whole collection throughout my whole face you guys have seen and everything is perfect like amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of that and contour my nose again i love this color for my nose i feel like you can fuck it up you can really mess up the makeup when your if your nose looks like very orange or if it looks too ashy nose contour can be a little tricky i feel like i finally found that product that i can like really go in sculpt the nose without feeling like i'm gonna look crazy i was seeing in his video that he really likes to make the brow as close as you can to where the highlight starts of your nose and that just gives you the appearance of a smaller nose but i just don't know if i like the idea of having my brows too close because really my freaking brow would have to start right here and it's just not it so but that's a good technique if your brows are way too separated it can make your nose look a little bit wider so if you want to create some some streaks right here make it a little closer to your nose contour 
see what that looks like maybe you'll like it and then we're gonna cut right here the nose to give it more of a tinker bell shape and we're gonna go ahead and with the beauty blender and kind of just tap everything make it nice and seamless so i recently just received this concealer from derma blend and it's in the color 30n i actually just tried it the other day for the first time and i really really like derma blend products we're gonna bring in the concealer as close as we can to that nose so we can snatch it I want to do a very like bright under eye so I'm only going to add a couple dots of the Juvia's Palace concealer in the color 22 and kind of just concentrate right here. Something that I noticed that I used to do was that I will go right into baking. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes first with a light powder and then we're going to go into bake. So we're going to go ahead and use a foundation powder. I have this Beauty Creations foundation powder in the color 2.0. I'm going to go ahead and grab this very nice and tapered little brush from the set. Once again, me being annoying. And this is just perfect for your under eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that powder powder and just tap 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 and set that under eye now you're going to, you're gonna get the maximum color with this i used to feel like i would do so much crap underneath my eyes and then i would look and i'm like my eyes are not bright but that's just because i wasn't setting it properly so we're gonna go ahead and only do this to the under eye i'm gonna go ahead and grab this laura mercier powder puff so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this chanel bro chanel translucent powder in the color in the color 30 and this used to be my shit i don't know why i stopped using it and then it has its own little powder brush i don't even know why i never used it anyways we're back at it so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set the whole face i'm eating this powder i'm literally eating it So I'm gonna grab this Huda Beauty pound cake. So we are gonna apply a very generous amount. So with the same brush that I applied the cream with, I'm gonna go ahead and use the powder side of this Patrick Ta palette. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the same brush that we used for our nose and go over our nose contour. And go ahead and kind of just do a couple mixtures of colors that we used under our eyes. So starting off with the very light one and the light one we are gonna drag a little bit lower. If my forehead looks a little strange, it's because, uh, because of the facial, like I'm kind of peeling and my face isn't really like picking up on product so i want to grasp on it so yeah just that way we're gonna go in with blush so i do have the new dior blush we're gonna use it backstage glow rosy glow so in the video that he did with nikita he actually used this blush this brush for the blush and he says that he likes the application of this because when you use it it, it kind of like when you twirl it goes up to the eye and you guys know that trend that was kind of like going on where like the blush is literally taken damn near under the eye and wow this blush is actually really pretty so he made it specifically to kind of go on very soft and not harsh as you can see the brush is super kind of like flexible so now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes i've been loving like a very bright inner corner so we're going to go ahead and use this little white highlighter that I have from like J. Cass Beauty. We're going to go ahead and literally brighten this up. So I'm going to go ahead and do my inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and put some eyeliner in my water line. You kind of go in the bottom and then you do a little bit at the top in the corner like that. 
crazy. So what really, really makes this eyeliner not look super crazy is actually putting mascara on your lower lashes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I finished up with my lip liner was Jaclyn Hale. My lipstick was from Huda Beauty. And my highlighter was from Bobbi Brown. I was on the phone, I had to take a call real quick so I couldn't talk to you guys. But just in case you guys are wondering, everything is gonna be linked down below, guys. I really like it. Now I do have to say this is a complete full coverage makeup if you're the type of person that likes to do this makeup daily and has the time for it if not this is definitely if you are gonna go somewhere you have a special occasion you're on a wedding you have an event or something like that because it is heavy honestly in person it looks it looks flawless it looks you look like a doll um i'm kind of just gonna give you guys a little zoom in of what it looks like but overall, you just look like porcelain. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave all my social media linked down below. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for the support as always, and I love you.